What's up people and welcome to this video guys. In this video guys we're gonna go and take a look at top 10 best plays for this week. I'm not completely sure what week it is, but for this week, does it matter? No, it definitely doesn't matter, okay? So I made some top 5 plays in the last two weeks and I thought why not gonna make a top 10. Comment down below what you think about it and in this video guys I'm also gonna be commentating over the plays, okay, because I remember you used to like that. Also, if you wanna go ahead and be featured in this top 10 plays, you can gonna send in your plays to this email and remember if you're doing that go ahead and in the title put in exactly what video it is. Is it a Cyclops Savage? Is it Fanny Maniac? Whatever. Have that in the title, it will make it a lot easier for me. Thank you for doing that. But with no further ado, guys, let's gonna jump into the top 10 place. So at spot number 10 we have an Arethal gameplay right here, you can see you're standing in the background, you're shooting at the enemies and the enemies are completely ignoring her, which is stupid because she's the one dealing the most damage right here and she's standing there, keep shooting at the enemies, picking up a triple kill right there and gonna, gonna finish off Cyclops there for the Maniac, a very easy Maniac right there, good job Arethal. So at spot number 9 we have a Saber gameplay right here, we can see it currently has 4 kills, 1 death and 3 assists. We can see the enemy team is trying to push mid, mid lane right here, it doesn't really go that good. All of a sudden his team starts to engage on the enemy team and of course he's gonna go and join them. He's gonna be able to pick up the first kill right there on the enemy alpha and then going for a double kill right there on the enemy Lancelot. We can see him trying to pick up the triple kill right there and that's exactly what he's doing. So now he's chasing for the maniac right there, we can see that the enemy Alucard is still alive picking up the Maniac on the enemy Alucard and this guy's this Saber knows he wants the freaking Savage so he's trying to find Kagura where are you he finds Kagura okay and he's going for that Savage trying to avoid turret damage uses his ultimate picking up the kill sadly was too late for a Savage just picking up the kill on Kagura nevertheless it was a cool gameplay So at spot number 8 we have an Argus gameplay right there, you can see he has currently 7 kills, died 3 times and 8 assists, so he's actually a bit fit. And I have of course seen this gameplay before, and I'm gonna go and give you a heads up, this guy is very greedy, jumping in 3 versus 1, picking up the first kill right there on Alucard, notice that he's taking a lot of damage from the enemy forces, so he backs out, picking up the double kill right there on Tigreal, a very easy double kill. Now jumping in on the enemy Farsa, not able to pick up the kill though, but needs to survive, using his life shields to pick up the triple kill and survive, picking up the maniac right there, and gonna go and dive for the savage, sadly dies right before picking up the savage. <laughs> Neither the less, that was a good gameplay, and it was a good try, Argus. At spot number 7 we have a Roger gameplay right here, we can see a typical Roger just shooting at the enemies, trying to pick up kills, that's basically what you do, okay? Gonna go jump in, in his wolf form, picking up the first kill right there on Argus, going for the second kill, picking up the double kill on the enemy Akai, going for a triple kill right there on Nia, and she's only running, so she is sure to go ahead and die, picking up the triple kill right there, looking for the next enemy, you can see Cyclops jumps on him, dealing a massive amount of damage to him, picking up the Maniac, and then an easy Savage on the enemy Alucard. At spot number 6 we have a Lancelot gameplay and both you and me know that Lancelot can go on and deal a massive amount of damage if he successfully hits his abilities and that's exactly what he's doing right there, picking up the first kill right there on an enemy, didn't really see who it was, going for another kill out there, picking up a second kill and a triple kill, actually getting a maniac right there, I'm not completely sure how, picking up the maniac, going for the enemy and picking up the savage right there, extremely fast, I don't even know what happened, I'm just gonna take a look, watch that again. The 
And at spot number five, we have a Leslie gameplay. And we both know Leslie can go on and deal a lot of damage. In this video, we're just gonna prove that. And she is his level 15, so we can just guess that this is late game. So she will deal even more damage because she deals more damage late game. We can see Alpha's gonna go and jump in right here. And he's actually gonna go and survive for a longer while than I uh, thought. So Leslie able to pick up the first kill right there on. Alpha obviously dealing a massive damage and then you can see Leslie standing here in the back just shooting at the enemies one by one by one uh, picking up a kill right there on the enemy Argus and the Tigrel right there so that's a triple kill we can see Gagura ulting in right there and we can see Leslie basically wiping up the rest okay mass damage gonna go and use the ultimate ray which Gonna go and use the ultimate right here, which probably wasn't the best choice but gonna be able to pick up the sandwich on Mia either way And then at spot 4 we're gonna go and have something special, we're gonna go and watch a play of Adora in spot number 4. Yes, you heard me correctly, Adora is gonna go and do something just completely insane, which we usually don't see. Yes, you're gonna deal a massive amount of damage, but picking up kills after kills? No, that's more for assassins and marksmen. Gonna be able to pick up the first kill right there on Alucard, no problem at all, even though she's fighting with her team, so she got backup, okay? We can see right there, trying to go, picking up the double kill right there on Karina, insane, and picking up the triple kill. On a lethal as well. Gonna go jump right in there, uh, attacking Gatot Gacha. Gonna gonna finish him off right there for the maniac. We can see the only enemy which is still alive is Sask. Sask, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And you can see that this Adora badly wants this savage. Gonna go and dive under the turret right here, and gonna go and finish off Sask with her ultimate. She's gonna go and survive because she just won the game. What an insane gameplay right there! Good job, Adora. At spot number three, yet again, we have a Lancelot gameplay, and I don't, I don't really even need to commentate over this because he deals you a massive amount of damage, and he's also really fed. So of course, he will be able to pick up a lot of kills right there. You can already gonna see he already has a double kill, going for that, diving directly into the enemy, and let's see, picking up the triple kill right there on Sass, gonna go, just almost one hits the enemy for us, which is just completely insane. We can see Roger desperately trying to do something. But I've got bad news for you, mate. Uh, you don't really stand a chance. Sorry. So at spot number two, we actually have a Leyla gameplay. So we can go and see that she's just hiding here in the bush, waiting for someone. And then Franco uh, walks by and just. Well, he dies <laughs> really fast. I actually think that the enemy team is a bit stupid. We can see Roger running in right here. Then he's uh, unfortunately gonna go jump in and basically kill himself. Double kill for Layla, picking up a triple kill on Hayabusa, diving to pick up the Maniac on Gordon. That's basically what she does, then dies. And now am I thinking, Blue Panda, why is this in spot number two? Well, she comes back, okay, picks up a kill on Roger, picks up a double kill on the enemy Mia. Gonna gonna dive yet again for the kill on Gord, same thing as the last time. Gonna be able to do that with a random ultimate, picking up the triple kill on Gord. We can see Franco coming in right here with immortality. She's gonna be able to shut him down, of course he will respawn. But Layla, who is gonna be able to pick up the kill right there for the maniac, searching for the savage. Where is the savage? Where is it? Where? Well, just wait, okay? Let's wait. They're gonna spawn either way, so let's just wait for them to spawn exactly what she's doing. You see Roger spawning right here. She's gonna be able to pick up the savage on Roger one time. And why not gonna pick up another savage on the enemy Mia? And why not gonna pick up? Okay, well, actually, she will fail right now, but she will try to pick up a third savage. Doesn't really work, but still, that's amazing. Two savages, one maniac. In, 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 yeah, good job, Layla. <laughs> Spot number one, we have just the most insane play I have ever seen right there, and of course it is with Fanny. Gonna go and jump in right here, one versus five, trying to do something, doesn't look good for her, and gonna be able to just completely wipe out the enemy team in seconds. The only enemy which is still alive is Nana, and you're gonna be able to see that Nana is actually gonna be able to pick her up, but... Uh, Fanny actually has immortality. Gonna gonna chase down that Nana for the savage, and I don't think I think you missed something, guys. She was so close on dying, it's just completely insane. Gonna take a look at this yet again, and take a look at that HP, almost completely dead, but still able to pick up the maniac and the savage. Just proves how strong Fanny really is. Remember guys, if you want to be in the next top place, remember to send in your place to this email right here. I hope I was in it, guys, but as always, thank you.
for watching. Do you wanna get diamonds in Mobile Legends without paying anything? Well, perfect, I have an option for you. Down in the description, I have an app which will do just that, give you free diamonds, and there is also a full tutorial how this app works and how it will gonna get you free diamonds. And if you don't have a mobile grip just yet, there's a link down in the description where you can go to buy a mobile grip and get 10% off, okay? Remember to use the code blue panda or click the link. And this will also go and help out the channel a bit, so thank you for supporting the channel.